Speaking of fashion, everything old really is new again, at least in the world of vintage sunglasses. Andrew Chambers is the owner of Wonderland. Welcome to the show. Okay, so tell us about the craze, this whole vintage sunglass look. Where, where do you think it came about? Oh, it, it's, it's, there's several influences. Mm -hmm. um, runways are always a good way to start. Uh, fashion magazines, uh, they reproduce everything and tweak it a little bit. But you can certainly find, you know, the originals. Um, and of course, television. Television shows Mad Men mm -hmm. has made a craze for vintage sunglasses. Okay, let's focus on the ladies first. Okay. What what are the looks for women? Show us show us some of um, the hot looks. They're all sort of mixed in here. Mm -hmm. uh, cat eye glasses okay. are always really popular. Um, it just depends on your face shape. And of course, like the larger, like the Jackie O sunglasses. Or, try some Jackie O's. Or Holly Go Lightly sure. from Breakfast at Tiffany's. I want to try these. I don't even know what these are, but I want to try them. Those are a 1960s Look mod at these. sunglass. Oh, so mod. I'm yeah, trying these. They're mod. Oh, those are mod. Look that, at these. You know, they were crazy for plastic and they were crazy for. <laughs> I don't, these, <laughs> these are, look at you and your Jackie O's. Those okay. are really what about for the guys, since Michael is wearing an example of a nice male. Um, <laughs> I, I don't think these are for the guys. I'll try the guys right no. now. Okay. <laughs> I think for men, uh, Wayfarers are probably your best bet. Um, they were, they were a 50s sunglass and they came back in the 80s. Now, is this an original? What's the, where's those this, are the 19, Those are the 1950s. Ooh. They 1950s. have a great weight to them. They have a beautiful design. Ooh, they are details. really heavy. Yeah, they're beautiful. Andy, I might have to take these with me. I'm and, kind of And Wayfarers them. are, um, um, you know, they 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 can be used on men or women. You can the style's great for a lot of faces. You're what? not taking these with you? I, <laughs> well, I, I love these actually. I think these are fantastic. Where do you Aren't find them? Yeah, uh, you find them all over. Sunglasses, you can find them used. You you, it's not unusual to find sunglasses. People will buy them in multiple, you know, pairs and think they're going to wear them and they never do for some reason. Um, estate sales. Um, thrift stores, garage sales, um, collectors. There are people who collect sunglasses. So, of course, we buy from collectors, too. Now, what kind of price point are we talking about on some of these sunglasses? Um, they can be all over the board, depending on who made them and the condition. Uh, we try to make sure everything is good. All of your screws are there and the hinges work. Um, so we're talking 50 to, I mean, hundreds. So a little, a little spendy uh -huh. if you want an original one. Well, they can be, but, you know, good sunglasses are, are worth it. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, definitely. Ooh, tell us about true. these. Ooh. Those are 1950s, 60s women's sunglasses. They've got a little bit of a filigree detail on the side. You look like a living Barbie doll, dear. Yeah, they're oh, it. stop. You do. They're super cute. <laughs> the, the, you know, they were influenced by movies too. You know, in, in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. So of course they wanted to look like Liz Taylor. So that's you know. Let me try another boy, another pair for boys that you would another suggest. guy pair. For another guy pair, yes. I think. Do these? Try those. The ones on the bottom. Yeah, those are a 1970s. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. These are going to be awesome. Those are a 70s aviator. Oh, aviator. Now, Hello. If you've tried on if you've tried on new aviators, you could you can completely see, feel uh -huh. why those are old. They have weight to them. They're a little bit bigger, and uh, you know the uh -huh. reproductions just don't they don't carry as much uh -huh. with them. Yeah, I'm looking I think good. he likes that. I think I, I think like these. It's not. They're, they're very you. They <laughs> are very me. <laughs> very you, Andrew. Thank you. Okay, so in terms of color, what are we seeing that's really popular? Bright um, colors, bold colors. Bright color, everything across the board. We okay. have bold colors like these orange ones from the 70s. Mm -hmm. They've never been worn. They still have their original price tag on. Wow. wow. Then we have these these pink ones from the 60s. So a little bit of everything. Um, we you know tortoise shell and black. You know, metallics, really it's just, it's all across the board. There's, there's no, there's really nothing that just pops. I mean, what I like about these is the world is rose colored. <laughs> it would be great with a swimsuit, Sam Tropez, by the pool, in your backyard. I like it. Well, oh. you always have amazing things. Thank you. And thank you so much for stopping by. Of Wonderland and Westport. Oh. And sharing some of the really unique treasures that you do have. Thank Continue you. Fun. We love you, Andrew. Thank you. All right. All right.